who, by the way, just visited the border Monday with a group of GOP lawmakers. Uh, Senator, good to have you again. This is the biggest story in America right now, only overshadowed because Hunter Biden is a nut job who decided to pull do, do a clown show on, on Capitol Hill today. But but this is really, really concerning, uh, the, the speed at which it's happening to Senator. How do we stop it? Well, Eric, it is an absolute catastrophe. It is a crisis at our southern border. 9.6 million illegal immigrants have crossed under Joe Biden. Every American family is less safe as a result of the crime that is coming into this country, as a result of the Mexican drug cartels making billions of dollars, as a result of over 100,000 drug overdoses in the last year, including 70 percent of that is from Chinese fentanyl flooding across the border. And then on top of that, the added risk of terrorism, particularly since October 7th, since the war in Israel. I think the odds of a major terror attack in the United States in 2024 are higher than they have been at any time since September 11th. And, and look, this story right here uh, about the James Madison High School, it is an outrage. New York is putting 2,000 illegal immigrants into the James Madison High School. They're throwing the kids out. It shows, sadly, the Democrats, their priority is not your children. The children who are supposed to be going to high school, they're being forced into re remote learning. Mind you, it's the same thing Democrats did for a year or more shutting down schools all across this country. I've introduced legislation called Schools Not Shelters that would mm. cut off federal funds to any school that is used to house illegal aliens because this is an abuse of power and it comes down to their priorities. The Democrats put politics above the welfare of our children. Senator, you mentioned a couple of things. By the way, I'm sure the irony is not lost on two people who uh, live by the con live and die literally by the Constitution. You and I are both constitutionalists. James Madison, a founding father, rolling over in his grave, knowing what they're doing to this this great country. Yeah. The money, Senator. The money. I, I did a monologue a couple of days ago. I think it, it really stuck out. I, I believe the Biden administration is letting this happen be so that they can spend the way they're spending and get an economic stimulus out of this. I think they're going to spend upwards of a trillion dollars over the four years of Biden being president on housing, on hotels, on California health care, on all these people. And they can do it by buying the votes quietly, yes, but it also, it's their way of stimulating the economy. Unfortunately for the American people, it's driving up prices and they're not benefiting. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on that? Look, I, I think that's certainly right, but I think it is also fundamentally for the Democrats about power. They look at these 9.6 million illegal immigrants and they see them as future Democrat voters. And, and they want to stay in power. That matters more to them than anything else. As long as Democrats are in office, they're happy. And it means they're willing to look the other way and ignore all of the people who are dying crossing illegally. Last year, 853 migrants died crossing illegally into this country. That's almost three per day. They're willing to overlook the thousands upon thousands of children who are brutalized by human traffickers. The Democrats aren't concerned about that at all. They're willing to overlook the thousands upon thousands of women who are brutally raped by human traffickers. The Democrats won't do anything to stop that. They're willing to overlook the Americans dying of fentanyl because why? They look at these as more votes. They want New York to stay blue. They want the White House to stay Democrat. They want the Senate to stay Democrat. And, and if people have to die to keep the Democrats in power, they're willing to make that trade. It is profoundly cynical. And, and, and I think it's immoral. Senator, um, Alejandro Mayorkas, he may, there may or may not be an impeachment hearing uh, at, at the House level. It gets to the Senate. And the reason why I'm asking is, is, is this, you know, you don't have the majority there. Are there any uh, Democrat senators that have the character to step up and say, this is a problem or will this die in the Senate? Will it may Mayorkas impeachment die in the Senate? Well, he's not going to be convicted in the Senate, unfortunately, because the Senate Democrats have party line one after the other after the other consistently voted in favor of open borders, voted against doing anything to solve this problem. That being said, I'm very glad the House is moving forward with impeachment. Alejandro Mayorkas should have been impeached two years ago. I called for impeaching him two years ago because mm -hmm. understand it's not that Mayorkas is bad at his job. It's that he is brazenly refusing to do his job. He's refusing to follow the law. He is flouting the law. And he is not trying to stop illegal immigration. Nope. He's not trying to secure the border. He's trying to accelerate illegal immigration. Sir, sir. He wants more.
I, I, coming fast. I know I'm going to lose you quickly. I just need you to weigh in on this, this statistic we, we just showed. And it's, it's, it blows my mind. For the first time ever, there are more illegals entering this country yeah. than American babies being born to American to citizens, Americans' mothers. I, I mean, the hate left it. it left hates when we say it, but you don't call it replacement. Call it substitute. Call call it whatever you want. But when that happens, it changes the the, the dynamic. Yeah. It changes the demographic. Your final thoughts, sir. Well, look, in the chart that, that, that you put up, uh, I, I actually have tweeted that chart out, and what I've sent on it is this is by design. This is what the Democrats want. Y you know, there's an irony. It's something I talk about in my podcast, Verdict with Ted Cruz. What Democrats accuse you of doing is, in fact, what they're doing. Every Democrat right now loves to tout that they're defending democracy. Joe Biden just gave a self-righteous speech about defending democracy the irony is, this is a, the exact same time, number one, they're trying to throw Donald Trump off the ballot to stop the voters from voting for him in Colorado and Maine. But number two, why are they allowing these open borders? A big part of it is because the Democrats hate democracy. They recognize that if the American people are voting, they're going to vote these clowns out. And so they're trying to bring 10 million new people in because they think those people will vote for Democrats and keep them in power. Democrats hate democracy, and they're not willing to do anything to take care of the kids. And, and, and I just got to say as a final question, how would you feel if you're, you were a single mom and your daughter, your son, were a student at James Madison High School in the Bronx, and the Democrat politician says, you know what, your daughter doesn't matter. We're going to give her spot to illegal aliens instead, and, and, and your kid can just stay and, home. It is outrageous. And you, single mom, have to stay home from work and not earn your yeah. living to feed your own daughter because you can't send them to school on that day. Senator Ted Cruz, thank you for what you do. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, Eric.